In this video, we're going to look at how you can calculate the averages from a grouped table. In order to do this well, you'll need to be able to calculate the averages from a regular frequency table. I've already got a video on this and I'll link it in this video's description, but I'd recommend you check that one out first. So if we take a frequency table like this one here, and this one's going to be about people's heights. You can see that rather than having all of the individual possible heights, I've grouped them together. So if your height is between 140 and 150, you'll be in the first group. If it's from 150 to 160, you'll be in the second group, and so on. So let's add in some frequencies, and let's go through each of the averages and see how we calculate them. And it's going to be a little bit different to how we did it before. Let's start by finding the mode. When we did a regular frequency table, the mode was the one that was the most frequent. Now we're still going to look for the highest frequency, so looking down the frequency column, the highest frequency is 21. Then when I look across to see the corresponding height, I don't actually have any of the individual height values, I just know they're in between 160 and 170. So for this reason we can't find the actual mode, instead we say we're going to find the modal class. This is the class interval that has the highest frequency. So the interval that has the highest frequency is this one here, so we would just write down 160 is less than h is less than or equal to 170. So it's as simple as find the highest frequency and write down the interval that goes with it. Now let's move on and have a look at the median. Just like the mode, we have the same problem with the median in that we don't know the actual values. So instead of finding the median value, we're going to write down the interval that contains the median height. Towards the end of the previous video, I showed you a shortcut to finding the median, and it's going to be really helpful in tables like this. First of all, you're going to add up all of the frequencies to get a total frequency. For this table, it's 75. You then take that total frequency, so 75, and add 1. So that's 76. If you then divide this by 2, so 76 divided by 2, we get 38. This tells us the median height will be the 38th value. So if you imagined lining up all of these people, from the shortest person to the tallest person, the person that stood in position number 38 will be the person that's in the middle, and therefore the median. But which group would this person be in? Well to work that out, we look down this frequency column here, and we count down until we hit the 38th value. So if we include the first group, there's 7 people in here, so we've got 7 people. We haven't found the 38th person yet. Then if we add in these 9 people, well we've got 7 and 9 this time, so that's 16 people. Still not enough. Then if we add in this next group, we have 21 more. This takes us to 37, very close but not close enough, so we need to add in this group as well, and that takes us to 57, and we've now gone past the 38th value. So the 38th value must be in this group here, so if we look across to the left in the height column, this is the interval that contains the 38th person. So the answer to which interval contains the median height is 170 up to 180. Now let's move on to the mean. The wording of a question for the mean would say something like, work out an estimate for the mean height. When we did the mean for a regular table, we added an extra column, but this time we're going to need to add two more columns. We also multiplied whatever was in the first column by the frequency. Now this time that doesn't really work. How can you multiply an interval 140 to 150 by 7? It doesn't really make any sense. Instead we're going to need one particular value that we're going to multiply by 7. Now since we don't know the actual heights of the people in that interval, we just know they're from 140 to 150, the most sensible thing to do is just assume that they're all in the middle. So we're going to assume that everyone in that interval actually has a height of 145, because that's halfway in between 140 and 150. So the extra column that we create is called the midpoint column. So in this column we're going to write the midpoints of all of those intervals. So the 140 to 150 interval, the midpoint is 145. For the next one, 150 to 160, halfway in between those is 155. And then you just carry on, 160 to 170 is 165. The next one is 175. And the final one is 185. So we're going to pretend that everyone in those intervals has the same height, and that's the midpoint of those intervals. Now we can carry on just as we did before. The next thing we did was multiply the frequencies by those heights. So we can call this extra column the midpoint times the frequency. You'll probably have a calculator for a question like this, so type all of these in, and for the first one you get 1015, the next one you get 1395, the next one you get 3465, and then 3500, and for the final one 3330. These values in the final column represent the total heights of all of the people from those intervals. So if I add up the entire column, I get the total height of every single person there was. And in this one it's 12,705 centimetres. Since I'm trying to work out a mean, I need to divide this by how many people there were. And I get this from adding up the frequency column. So if I add up this frequency column, I get 75. 
Notice at no point did we add up the midpoint column. You're always going to add up the midpoint times the frequency and the frequency column. Now to finish the question, we divide the total height, which was 12,705, by the total amount of people, which was 75. Using your calculator, this will give you 169.4. So we can write down that the estimate of the mean is 169.4 centimeters. The reason we use the word estimate here is because when working out the mean, we use the midpoints. We don't know the actual heights of any of these people, so this answer is not necessarily the exact answer, it's just an estimate. Let's take a second table and have a go at finding all of those averages again for this one. So we're going to start with the modal class. To find the modal class, you find the highest frequency, so that's 19, and then you just write down the interval that goes with it, so 60 up to 90. So the modal class for this one is 60 to 90. Next, we're going to have a look at the median. So we need to write down the interval that contains the median time. To do this, we add up the frequencies. If you add all of those frequencies for this table, you get 50. We add 1 to this, so 50 plus 1 is 51, and then divide it by 2. 51 divided by 2 is 25.5. This means we're looking for the 25.5 value. Now you might find that a strange value to look for, especially because you can't have a 25.5 person. But in most questions, it's unlikely to make much difference. And you could think of it as finding the point that's halfway in between the 25th person and the 26th person, if you find that easier. So let's look down the frequency column and try and find where the 25.5th person would be. Are they in the first group? Well, we only have nine people here, so they're not in that group. If we add in the 18 people from the second group as well, we do nine plus 18, which is 27. You can see we've now gone past the 25.5th value since 27 is bigger than 25.5, so it must be in this interval here. So the median is in the interval from 30 to 60. And finally, let's have a look at the mean. So we're going to work out an estimate for the mean time. Remembering it's an estimate because we're using the midpoints rather than the actual times. So let's extend our table and add two more columns. And the first one's going to be for the midpoints. So we need the midpoint of the first interval. The midway point of 0 and 30 is 15. Sometimes finding the midpoint of some intervals is a bit more difficult. If you're ever stuck finding the midpoint of an interval, you can just add together its endpoints and then divide it by 2. So the next interval goes from 30 to 60. So if we take these two values and add them together, you get 90 and then divide 90 by 2, you get 45. So halfway in between 30 and 60 is 45, and that's the midpoint. For the next interval, you'd get 75, and the final interval would be 105. Then we multiply the midpoints by the frequencies to create the final column. 9 times 15, that gives you 135. 18 times 45 is 810. 19 times 75, 1425. And 4 times 105 is 420. Then we add up this final column here. If you add up all of those numbers, you get 2790. And we divide this by the total of the frequency column. If you add up the frequency column, you get 50. So to find our estimate for the mean, I do 2790 divided by 50. Using a calculator, this gives 55.8. So the estimate for the mean is 55.8 seconds. Now you might be thinking, why haven't we calculated the range? The range isn't an average, but in the previous video, we did calculate the range for the regular tables. Let's take a closer look. We need to do the biggest value, subtract the smallest value. But the range is impossible to do with any level of accuracy. How can we tell what the biggest value is? We know the longest time from this table must be somewhere in between 90 and 120, but we have no idea where it's going to be. In a similar way, we know the lowest time is going to be between 0 and 30, but again, we don't know what it's going to be. So when you have a group frequency table, it's not really possible to calculate the range. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and go and try the exam questions in this video's description.